Well, well my people welcome back to my channel thanks for checking in now i'm going to show you how to make jamaican fish soup also known as fish tea and this is a popular soup in jamaica and also in the caribbean as you can see these are the ingredients i'm going to be using for my dish today and i'm going to be using a snapper fish so it's already prepped already deboned and ready for my dish stay tuned guys all right, so first I like to saute a few of my herbs before I actually start the soup. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add about one tablespoon of olive oil. And like I said, guys, it's always good to saute. It's always good to saute some of your veggies. Like even when I'm making soup, like some soup, I would still go ahead and saute a few veggies before I start my soup. All right, so I'm going to add my ginger. And I'm going to add some carrot. It's about a quarter cup of carrot. I'm going to add some onions and some garlic. Then I'm going to add some thyme. It's about five sprigs of thyme. And I'm going to add some celery. Now celery is optional. You don't have to add celery to your soup. But I like to cook fish tea with celery in it so this is optional guys you don't have to add this to your soup and I'm also going to be adding some allspice whole allspice also known as pimento I'm going to add about five now I'm going to saute all these ingredients for about two minutes before I add my water Alright guys, so after two minutes, now I'm going to add my water. So you could add about six cups of water. Alright, so after you add your water, now I'm going to add some of my food items. So this is banana. Now I'm going to add some potatoes. You want to cut your potatoes into cubes or smaller if you want all right so now i'm gonna add some dumplings so this is the dough i made earlier i'll post the recipe but it's pretty much just flour salt and water i need mixed together to make this dough so i'm gonna go ahead and add my dough and you pretty much just take a small piece of the dough put it between the palm of your hands roll it together make small spinners so it's pretty much just small dumplings for my soup i don't know about you guys but whenever i drink soup i love to have dumplings in my soup every soup i make like dumplings i gotta have dumplings in my soup but like i said guys you don't have to add these food items you can add other items so some people would add chocho -cho, some people would add yellow yam or some people would add pumpkin so pumpkin is actually an option that you guys can add to your soup if you want but like i said fish soup a fish tea is a very light soup so most times you don't add too much food items Alright, so when you add your dumplings, your spinners, what you want to do is you want to slowly stir your pot because you don't want the spinners or the dumplings to stick to the bottom of the pot. I'm also going to be adding some okra. So this is okra. It's a popular ingredient for a fish soup. This is also optional. You don't have to add okra to your fish soup, but I like to add this ingredient to my soup. So I'm going to add in this item now. So what you want to do now, you want to allow this to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm going to add my other ingredients. Alright guys, so my soup is coming along fine, looking good. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add the remaining ingredient for my fish soup. And guys, the fish, the fish doesn't take a long time to cook. So that's the last item I'm going to add to my soup. Alright, so I'm going to add a scotch bonnet pepper. You could add 
a whole scotch bonnet pepper just for flavoring I'm gonna add some scallion now I'm gonna add vegetable soup mix so this is optional but I'm gonna add about half pack of vegetable soup mix I'm also gonna be adding fish tea soup mix and this is a great brand fish tea soup mix so this is like half pack I'm gonna, add half, I'm gonna add half pack I'm also gonna be adding some powder seasoning so this is the grace all purpose seasoning and you could add about one tablespoon this is a grace fish seasoning I'm gonna add about one tablespoon this is a grace garlic powder so if you notice guys I like to use the grace brand this is a recommended brand, a good brand when you're cooking a fish soup or most dishes so one tablespoon I'm also going to be using whole black pepper I'm going to use about one tablespoon whole black pepper now the salt I'm going to be using a little bit of salt about one tablespoon I'm not going to add too much salt because I've added a variety of powder seasonings all right so my soup is coming along fine it's looking good so all remember guys to taste your food taste your soup taste whatever you're cooking as it comes along so you know if you need to make adjustment if you need to add more seasoning or not mm. guys this tastes so good all right so now i'm going to add my fish so like i said before i'm using snapper fish all right so like i said earlier the fish doesn't take a long time to cook so that's the reason why i didn't add my fish from the beginning so the fish is normally the last item i add when i'm making my fish tea fish soup so i'm gonna allow this to, to cook for another five to ten minutes time and then my fish soup should be ready all right guys so this is the finished product my soup is looking so good my soup is looking so lovely and if you notice the texture of the soup should be like this because like I said this is a fish tea a fish broth so most time the soup is not thick but this is looking so good guys it's looking so lovely and I want to thank you guys for checking in I want to thank you guys for supporting I want to thank all the people that support each video I really appreciate you guys and guys feel free to give comments feel free to give likes feel free to share my channel and i hope you guys enjoy this dish thank you crispy out yeah man